what's going on guys welcome to dreams and in this time i'm going to be showing you guys what exactly you need to do this with this uh, weather forecast api as you can see it's a jar file and if you open up eclipse okay um uh, just create a new project java project i'm gonna call it hello one two three then i'm gonna create a new class okay so this will be my main class all right or actually main window because i'm gonna be creating a window so you can see how to use this i'm going to create a constructor from superclass and actually i'm going to have everything within the main class okay so i'm going to bring this down all right just like that uh, one more and i'm going to delete this as well i don't need this and i don't need that okay so here i'm going to say a uh, new main window okay so this is a call to the uh, constructor and just click on the on the project uh, folder right click on it okay and then put a, a new and then folder okay so you can call this whatever you want so I'm gonna say live for libraries then I'm gonna get this uh, weather forecast okay and I'm gonna put it inside my lib folder okay so I'm just gonna say copy so now I'm gonna uh, open it okay not open it but I'm just gonna add it to the build path okay so now just let me show you guys if I for example uh, try to say weather weather and then control space as you can see I cannot uh, get nothing because because this uh, jar file is not added to the build path okay so right click on it and then uh, say build path and then add to build path okay so now as, as you can see you got reference re libraries okay and as you can see the weather forecast jar is inside your project and ready to use okay so uh, I'm gonna show you guys how to use this really quickly so if you go to the documentation okay as you can see if you open up this as you can see you've got all the classes available to you uh, for example if you go to this fetch weather forecast uh, you've got uh, these methods that you you can use so you've got a a method summary a constructed detail as well and as you can see some of these methods for example find uh, weather stations near to blah 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 and get acknowledgement and all that okay so i'm going to show you guys how to use this because otherwise if you don't in include this you get zero marks for your coursework okay so we're going to be creating a window for this okay so i'm going to go to my main um, uh, to my public class i'm going to say extends extends j frame okay so i'm going to be extending the j frame uh, class okay and I'm going to be using it down here inside my constructor. So I'm going to say this dot set size. Okay, so I'm going to set a size for it. I'm going to say, uh, let's say 900 by 500. You can put whatever you want. And then I'm going to say this dot set default close operation J frame uh, dot exit on close. And this will make sure that the frame closes whenever the the program closes whenever you close your frame then i'm going to say this dot set to resizable to false because i don't want no one to mess about with the window and finally i'm going to say this dot set location relative to null and this will center up this the the window whenever you launch the application all right so up here i'm going to create uh one label uh two panels and that's it for this tutorial thing so i'm going to say j panel 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 uh, main panel main panel and i'm going to say panel one okay so then i'm going to say j label label and just like that Control shift o to import everything and we're going to be using it down here okay so the main panel i'm going to say main uh, main panel equals to new j panel okay and here i'm going to say new border layout just like that 
and the idea is to send this panel one inside of this main panel so I can have uh, more control over it okay so for your uh, frame you can use whatever layout you want okay but I highly recommend you to use the grid bag layout because it's one of the best ones you can position everything with your own control okay but for this tutorial I'm just gonna use this uh, normal one then the panel the panel one I'm gonna say equals to new J panel panel okay and then I'm going to have a new flow layout inside of it and I can have flow layout dot and this I'm going to center it okay and actually I'm going to have let's say five pixels and five pixels horizontal and vertical padding okay so now what I need to do is to add uh, the the is not to add is to add the method the get acknowledge uh, get acknowledgement method to my J label okay so I'm going to say label label equals to new J label okay so as you know the the J label uh, provides is uh, you need to pass a string okay so the string sorry so the string that you, we're gonna be passing into it uh, we're gonna get it from the, this method. So if you go on kids, uh, on not on kids even. So if you go to, uh, sorry. So if you go to, yeah, to this method. So as you can see, you get acknowledgement. Okay. So if you use the class name, so we're going to say fetch. Okay. So I've pressed Control Space Space. As you can see, I'll say fetch weather forecast dot get acknowledgement okay and as you can see it returns this string for me and I'm good to go so now I'm going to now I'm going to to add the main panel the main the panel one into the main panel and the label to the panel one okay so I'm going to say uh, panel one dot add label okay and uh, main panel dot add um, lab, uh, panel one okay just like that and then I need to specify it, the location border layout dot south okay just like that so now I'm going to say this dot set visible to true and if I launch the program you'll see what's going on here so okay so it's not visible and the reason why is because I need to add the main panel to the frame okay so this dot add main panel okay just like that and then if I press F11 to view it and as you can see supported by <coughs> sorry guys uh, backstage blah, blah 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 okay so just let me show you guys how you can use another method okay and for example if you go on kids for example if you if you look at this um look for weather stations near birmingham okay so if i copy this okay and i'm just gonna run it inside the main method so if i copy as you, as you can see there's no problem because if i press ctrl shift o i can import everything okay and by the way this can be anything for example i can, I can say let's say algeria okay I can say Algeria and if I loop through it so I'm going to say 4 and the type will be this okay because we're gonna loop through that and we're gonna call it X and then we're gonna loop through stations okay just like that then if I say sys out sys CISO control space and I'm gonna print S uh, X and if I show you this you'll see what's going on so as you can see you've got uh, all the places in Algeria okay so yeah I hope this tutorial helped you out a bit uh, to get started with this um, coursework and yeah thank you for watching and I'll see you next time